Hello and welcome back to Enslaved Odyssey to the West. I think we finally fixed those stuttering issues. We'll explain that in a moment. For now, here's chapter two. It's ripped open. It's the headband. <clears throat> what? The slave headband. The one I fit on you. You put this on me. Let me explain. Get this thing off, or I'm gonna rip your head off. No. No? You think I'm screwing with you? You! Come in, stop! <laughs> Away from me. Oh, what the hell are you doing? I hacked a slave headband so it could be activated by my voice commands. Activation triggers a systemic pain response. It's what controls the slaves. I'm gonna kill you. You can't. If my heart stops beating for any reason. The headband will discharge a lethal dose. If I die, you die. Oh. Why? I need your help. I come from a wind farm community. It's about 300 miles from here. I'll never make it on my own. If slavers don't get me, Max will. That's the deal. Get me back to my home, and you can go back to yours. Looks like I don't have a choice. Neither of us do. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go. Alright, so this lady apparently is holding us hostage. We were already a slave, but now we're a slave again. So the stuttering issues that we were encountering before, I believe, uh, were down to the fact that the executable file would not allow on PC for the uh, game to consume more than two gigs of memory. Thus, it was freezing. So this stuff I can see. I've hacked the headband to give you visual feedback. It's patched into your shield system and my biometrics. And your voice? It's like, it's, it's inside my goddamn head. It is. We have a continuous audio link now. <laughs> Great. You got pretty beat up when we landed. In any case, uh, oh, that's a health pack. Uh, I had to expand that two gigs of memory. Um, that it was allowed to use, so it should prevent the stuttering. This is an issue that apparently a ton of players have had with this game on PC, so we've resolved it, and uh, I believe, and that should be good from here. What is this little blinky guy right over here? I gotta know what that is. Can I just jump over and go see what it is? What, what are you? I don't think that's the way out. No, but I got a thing. Uh, is that not good? Okay, well... Oh, there's more things. There's things everywhere. Oh, what is this left... Okay, left trigger does absolutely nothing. The bumpers don't do anything yet. I'm sure we'll get to that. What, uh, are these like experience? Do I get things for this? All right, sorry, what did you need? Uh, she doesn't know. I saw another one over here, so I'm gonna go get it real quick. Is there a way to sprint, by the way? I would love a sprint function. I can't climb up on that, actually. All right, so the way out, I guess, is up the stairs. 
I wasn't paying attention to her really, <laughs> so I don't know if this is right, but it's the way I'm going. We're going up the stairs and we're going to see what's up here. More experience it would seem, or these red things in any case, whatever they are. Right, oh, we have a handhold. Okay, so we can actually get up there if we want to. Uh, yes, there's more handholds. Ah, experience. Thank you. Now, uh, for some reason we can climb out here. Oh, because there's a pole. Gotcha. Um, okay, I don't know why we're climbing down precisely, but here we are. Oh, this is why. Look at these clusters of red orbs that I don't know their use yet. But we've got them, and that's really all that counts. Well, the camera, for some reason, I know this is a little bit strange of a comparison to make. The camera, in some points, really reminds me of uh, Resident Evil, believe it or not. Just the fact that it switches those camera angles like that and it has a very cinematic feel about it. Um, it. It definitely feels like Resident Evil in some ways in that specific instance. Now, believe me. The controls are much better than old Resident Evil because those were some pretty, pretty bad controls back in the day. Oh boy, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, uh, so sh I don't know. I guess we're supposed to be trying to find a way out of here, I think, is the plan. Oh, here's like a bridge. I think this must be a drawbridge. Must be to keep Max out. There are some controls here. The other side is blocked. Can you get around and clear it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, I can see where she is at any point. At my captor. Good. Alright, so... I am simply some big old slave guy. I have no choice but to do her bidding, I guess. They could be close. What are we gonna do? Not make too much Uh, oh boy. Where is he at? Come on, you wanna fight? I'm ready to go right now. I mean, if you want to jump down here, we can get this thing started. I guess not. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and use this and get her across. Shit. Ah! Keep out of the way. Let me deal with this. Oh, here they come. All right. And they they are differently colored than before. Ah! Makes you feel so badass whenever you get those little cutscenes as you kill them. Oh, the combat, even though the combat is super simplistic, it feels really, really cool. Okay, so, anyways, we've got her past. Now, what's the deal? We have to move this out of the way? Here. Can you move this? I'm sure I can, because I am apparently incredibly strong. I can destroy those mechs with my bare hands. These gloves are some kind of weapons, I just don't know exactly what they do. Okay, well, the stuttering issue kind of persists. It was really good up until now. Like I said, this is a problem with the game, not necessarily with anything on my PC. Um, I will continue to try to troubleshoot this between every episode to see if we can fix it, but it's just a problem with the game itself. Okay, we got health, even though we really didn't need it. Um, I guess we did. My health meter on the top left wasn't completely full, but now it is. I'm glad to see even the HUD seems to, to properly replace itself uh, whenever you expand the horizontal field of view. That's amazing. It, like, this game definitely wasn't programmed to do that, except maybe it was. <laughs> like, all I did was adjust the INI file, really, to get it to display. Do you think you could tell me what the plan is? To get you home as fast as possible so that you can take this thing off my head and I can break your neck. I meant... Yeah, I know what you meant. See that smoke over there? That's where the slave ship came down. First thing we're gonna do is head for that. Hoping my ride survived the crash. What's your ride? Uh, it's the only way I know how to cover 300 miles. Two wheels and an engine.
Hey, uh, excuse me, go back. There was, like, experience back here. I didn't forget already, game. Tens of thousands? Maybe. So sad. I wonder what happened to them all. Okay, so New York City is in complete ruins. I'm not sure why. I don't know anything about the lore behind this. I don't know if I'm supposed to by now. But apparently we were enslaved by something or someone. It may not even have been like a human race necessarily. But we were enslaved, both of us. And New York City is in complete shambles, which leads me to believe obviously there's been some apocalyptic events or maybe... Maybe a war between species. Who knows? All I know for now is that this place is in utter shambles. Get out! When I give you the signal, you get back, okay? No, 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 I hey! can't, I can't. Do as I say. Gotta find a way to take him out. Okay. Uh, well, the way to take him out, I guess, is just going to be to uh, cover ground. I took a little damage to my shield there. Oh, but it heals over time. Excellent. In that case, I should have no problem taking this guy out. Coast is clear. <laughs> Never mind. Seriously, there's nothing that feels more badass. Uh, okay, what it reminds me more of, it would be uh, Mordor's Shadow of, of, of... Wait, whatever the name of that game was. It reminds me of that game. Uh, be because of those little moments at the end here where you get... Uh, get the little cutscenes of you finishing people off. I guess Batman does the same thing, though, doesn't it? Alright, you want to block all my shots? We'll shape me with one of those. How about it? Right. I took a little damage in those battles, but that's okay. If we are going to get through this, then when I ask you to do something, you need to do it immediately. I understand. Uh, oh, okay, I can, like, direct her. Yes, come over here. Let's go. Okay. I already... <laughs> I'm falling in love with this game a little bit. I, I'm actually really, really enjoying it. I don't know how it didn't get more recognition, to be honest. Uh, but so far, absolutely loving it. We're going to have to continue to love this game next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please join me in the next episode when we find our way through New York City to that slave ship. You guys have a good one.